Students of the Viola Elementary School are jumping, spinning, and some are even crawling in this colorful hallway. It's exhausting. They went to it really fast. I can catch up, so it's really fun. <laughs> And it's not just an ordinary hallway, it's a sensory hallway filled with decals on the floor leading a child into a pathway where they are able to use their muscles, breathing and spatial awareness. These students tell us their favorite parts. Um, the jumping rock, the tree pose, because I'm not good at balance, now I'm getting better. But if you're wondering what is the purpose of the hallway, well, it lets the youngsters burn some energy and return to their classroom ready to learn. Ellen Stone, the occupational therapist at Viola who worked on the pathway, says the pathway works on movements that helps kids settle down and refocus. For those children that are overly um, active, we have some exercises that are very calming, such as uh, wall push-ups and uh, balance exercises, where they're getting input to their joints in such a way that it's uh, organizing and calming to the brain. Stone says sensory exercises are particularly helpful for kids who have processing issues, stress, anxiety, and ADHD. But it also helps alert those that are tired in class. How does it make you feel after? Uh, relaxed. Stone says just less than a month after their hallway was unveiled, educators say the small steps have brought some big results. And they do see a difference. The children do come back and, and seem more in that place, that right place for learning after they've, they've gotten movement. Andy Path, which just takes a minute to complete, will soon be added to other schools in suffering so that other students can play and learn at the same time. It allows students to kind of make that, that school environment their environment. It's not the adult environment anymore. They're owning that environment by using that hallway in a way that normally they'd have to do outside. In suffering, Jessica Vallejo, Fios News.